So, um, my name is Stephen Wong. Um, I was born in Taipei, Taiwan, and at age seven, my uh, parents brought me uh, over to the uh, U.S. and I grew up in Moab, Utah. So I was quite young um, when I uh, moved here to the States, but uh, what I did remember was uh, my mother um, told me one day that uh, we would be moving to the U.S. And of course, as a young child, you really don't know what uh, to moving to the U.S. truly means. Uh, your only recollection of the U.S. Um, is from movies. So she asked me if uh, I had any concerns about uh, moving to the States. Um, and I remember asking my mom if the U.S. had um, Western pastry stores or pastry shops. And of course, uh, for those uh, Asian Americans out there, we know that the Chinese version of the Western bakeries are very different from um, what we have here in the in the U.S. Um, so that was my main concern: whether the uh, the U.S. has the Chinese version of the Western bakery. Moab um, is a uh, small town uh, in southeastern Utah. Uh, <clears throat> moving there at a young age, of course, uh, you know, you you really don't know the. Uh, much about the culture shock, the cultural differences, other than that uh, you're, <clears throat> you are uh, uh, meeting a new group of kids, um, except in my case, um, I didn't know the English language, um, but fortunately the uh, group of uh, children who were in my class uh, in Moab were quite friendly, they were quite helpful, and uh, it was a, uh, a good experience. I remember um, doing some drawing coloring of uh, people um, on paper and, uh, and I have always colored people's hair uh, black. I, I've done that uh, you, you know throughout um, kindergarten and preschool in Taiwan. And I remember my uh, first grade uh, teacher, Miss Peeney, she walked up to me uh, walked up to my desk one day and said, oh, you know, you can color um, people's hair brown and yellow as well. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I experienced what many other Asian Americans um, were experiencing, which is you really didn't want to feel different. And, uh, and you just wanted to be part of the mainstream. It wasn't until I got to college and I started meeting other people who were from different walks of life uh, or, and, and Europeans where I realized there is also a difference between Asians from Asia and uh, Asians who grew up in America. But, you know, as college students, it was you, you really regard uh, people with different backgrounds uh, as being interesting uh, and, and you try to pull commonality and be friendly with, uh, with those around you. Uh, but my biggest eye-opener, I think, was uh, a friend of mine from Singapore. She said, oh, you should really take this uh, Asian America class um, in college. So I did, so I did. And, uh, and I think it was the first time in my life where the idea of being Asian American was defined for me, what it means to be Asian American. And, the, and, and it was presented to me that the Asian American history in America actually, actually goes very far back, you know, and their contributions to America where you feel like, yes, we do have a place in America and that uh, we have made contributions uh, and we are as American, you know, as anybody else. At the end of the curriculum, 
what the professor wanted us to realize was we are Chinese and we are American. We don't have to basically pick one or the other. Um, and, and I think uh, that, that, that was a very powerful message.